Hello everybody. I have not done a video over here in what feels like forever because it might have been basically forever. But I'm back and I have another book video for you today. I did a video once before, this one, and it was all about my rainbow bookshelf and some of the books that I have in my collection. One of my big goals in December was to read a lot, and I did. I read so many books. I have read an insane amount of psychological thrillers. They have been my favorite genre lately. So I wanted to share some of my favorites and not so favorites in the psychological thriller genre with you. I have been sharing lots about the different kinds of books I've been reading over on my Instagram and by far people have been, 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 been and by far people have been most interested in psychological thrillers. I am going to start with my favorites and tell you a little about them and why you should probably read them. Also, all of my book recommendations will be linked down below. Also, even the ones I don't like cuz maybe you'll like it. Okay, I'm going to start with my favorite psychological thriller lately. I literally read it in one single sitting. I could not put it down. So it's called No Exit. It's by Taylor Adams. And oh my gosh, if you are looking for a super, super, super fast paced thriller, this is definitely for you. It's absolutely wild. This book from the very first page is going to keep you turning those pages because oh my gosh, it's jam packed with twists and turns. This was actually sent to my PO box by one of our lovely YouTube subscribers. So thank you. So this book is about a young girl heading home from university to see her sick mother, but she gets stuck in a wild snowstorm with, I believe four strangers. I don't want to give much away, but it says it in the like synopsis, so I think I can. She finds a girl, a child, locked in a cage. And the story is all about getting the child out and getting down to the bottom of what the heck is going on. If you like a very fast paced thriller, this is for you. Next, sticking in the vein of books I really liked, these are all the ones I really like, I loved The Silent Patient. I think this is just an amazing book. Here's where we encounter the issue that I'm really bad at pronouncing things. So, um, so <laughs> the name is Alex Michaelides, Michaelides, Michaelides. So the silent patient is about a woman who randomly kills her husband. She shoots him five times and then refuses to speak kind of ever again. So it is about why she refuses to speak and trying to get down to the bottom of what actually happened the night her husband died. She's the silent patient. Get it? She doesn't speak. This book is also super twisty, super turny. The ending I did not expect and I love that in a thriller. Next we're going with another book that I just read. This is Lisa Jewell, The Family Upstairs. Again? Such a good book. These are all the good ones. Of course I'm going to say that. I feel like all of the books by Lisa Jewell that I've read have multiple narrators and it's the same with this one. There's someone who's adopted and gets this giant house left to them by their biological family and it's figuring out the story of what the heck happened in that house. In the family upstairs, the main character Libby is found as a tiny baby crying in a crib by the police and everyone else in her family is either dead or missing. So it's all about finding that family and figuring out also what the heck happened. Next, a kind of staple in the psychological thriller genre these days, The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. It is so good. They're all so good. I believe Woman in the Window is about to be turned into a series if it hasn't already. And I want to watch it. Is it a movie? It's a series. It's something. It's gonna be good. The Woman in the Window is about a woman, Anna, who is a recluse. She lives in her apartment all by herself, refuses to go outside. So Anna loves to spy on her neighbors and then one night she sees something that she shouldn't have seen and it is all about her unraveling and trying to figure out what actually happened across the street that night. Again, it's a good one. Next, we are moving on to psychological thrillers that I think are pretty good but not 
top tier. This is Ferguson, he wants to say hi. So here are some of my thrillers that are not top tier, but they're, they're pretty okay. Starting with Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. This is another book that I just finished. So this is another one of those books that follows multiple storylines and you're trying to put it all together and make it make sense. And in this book, you're also kind of jumping around in time also. So what is Into the Water about? So a single mother is found drowned in this body of water in the town where all of these women drown. So it is figuring out what is going on with that water, what happened to this woman, what happened to some of the other characters that are brought up into the story that also drowned, and figuring out what is going on with this water. Paula Hawkins is the author of The Girl on the Train, which is a really popular thriller, and this is a pretty good one. I mean, I'd read it if I were you. Next, we have another Lisa Jewell book. It is I Found You. It's just okay. We're getting to the just okay thrillers. It is about a man who shows up on a beach and has no idea who he is. He has amnesia, he has absolutely no clue what's going on. This woman finds him on the breach, invites him into her house, and wants to help him figure out who he is and why he's there. This is another book that flashes back and forth throughout time, so we're also following some other stories, like one that happens like 30 years prior, and putting them all together to see if you can make sense of what actually happened to this man and who is he. That's the big thing. Can you figure out who he is? This thriller is rated okay. We're, we're middle of the pile now. And then we have The Couple Next Door. This is a thriller that I read a while ago. It is by Sherry Lapina. Lapina? So it is about a couple who leaves their baby home alone while they go to a party just next door with their neighbors. They needed a break. They come home and the baby is missing. Who took the baby? Where is the baby? Oh my gosh. Why would they leave the baby alone? This is another one of those thrillers that we're saying it's, it's just okay. I mean, I'd read all of them, except for, except for the next one. That's what I wouldn't read, but I would add this to your read list. All right, rounding out the books that I've read, we're gonna go with my absolute least favorite psychological thriller I've ever read, uh, The Favorite Daughter. This is by Kira Ruda. I absolutely didn't like this book. I would really recommend you read it, honestly. It's so predictable. That's one thing I don't like in a psychological thriller. I don't like when I can pick it up and figure out in the first little bit what happened. And this is kind of one of those books for me. That's why I like them really twisty and like something happens you don't see coming. This was too predictable for me and it was an unreliable narrator that was obviously unreliable. and in a way that you were like, I know not to take this woman seriously. So I wasn't a fan, because I think you were supposed to be taking her seriously until the end. So it's a no for me. And next we have three psychological thrillers that are on my bookshelf that I have not read yet that are on my to read list. So first we have The Widow by Fiona Barton. This is the one that Allie's currently reading, my wife. So I actually have no clue what this is about, but I will be reading it and then I'll tell you what I think. And then we have another book about a widow, The Widow Next Door. It's kind of seems like a cross between The Widow and The Woman in the Window. I think Allie read this and actually didn't like it, so we'll see what I think. So it sounds like some people move into a house, they get a new neighbor, this little old lady, she becomes a friend of theirs, and then she grows a little too interested in the couple and uh, watches them constantly. So I'm gonna read it. I know my wife didn't like it, but we'll see what I think. And finally, we have Sophie Hanna, The Next to Die. I got this book because I was really excited. I thought it sounded super interesting, but I just haven't been able to get into it. If we look, we can see that I've started it, but I found it super wordy, which isn't also necessarily something I like in a thriller. I like it fast paced. I like it like unpredictable and an easy read. If I'm looking for something that's going to take more thought, I'm not going to reach for a thriller. That's just me personally. So it's it, it started being a little too much, a little too wordy, a little too intense of a read for me, for what I like to read, but we'll see. I'm going to try to dive into this again and see what happens. 
So those are some psychological thrillers that I love, some that I don't love so much, and some that I plan on reading. Let me know what your favorite psychological thrillers are down below, and I will see if I can get my hands on them and give them a read because I'm always on the hunt for a new psychological thriller. Make them twisty and turny and very fast paced. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want me to keep creating content over here and not just on my main page, Ally and Sam, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're interested and hopefully you will see me back here soon. All right, everybody, I want you to have a lovely day and I'll see you soon.